800 80 10 80. It's the two. The two. On News Talk ZB. And with us now, Kelvin. Hi. Very good evening to you, two, two. That's uh, three twos. Well done. Now, if I may, before I get on... No, 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 hold on. You, two, two. That's... Two twos. No, I said good evening to you, two, two. Ah. To you, two, two. Well, that's really six twos, isn't it? No, no, only three. You, two, two. Okay, then. And what if you were saying that to Desmond? You were wrong. If you were saying that to Desmond, two, two. (laughs) Yeah, well, that's great. Good evening to you, two, two, including Desmond, two, two. Mm. Yeah. Now. And Tito's Ty Tyler (laughs) tied um, his shoelace or something. But anyway. It's Talkback, but not as you know it. The two. 0800 80 10 80 on News Talk ZB. Hey, did we know Prince George, the new one? We know him well. The baby one. Mm. Did we know he was definitely coming? Coming is uh, with you know the parents. Mm. What's their name? Kate and and Gary and Gary. Yeah, <laughs> Kate and Gaza. Um, did we know? Did we know that the baby was definitely coming? I well, I felt that I knew that. I mean, I've known for some time. I thought it was just released yesterday by the new Governor General in Australia, who let it slip. Well, we knew that. Gary and Kate were coming to New Zealand. We knew, yes, but we didn't know they were bringing the baby. Well, were I they going to think... leave the baby? Well, that, well, there was a whole Fanta. look. For, they had three corgis <laughs> and, and a Game Boy we're going to be looking at <laughs> for, a, for a while. Is can't this... they afford a decent electronic device? <laughs> they can't. They're just wrapped about Spark coming in because I think it'll have a princely kind of technology that can look after him. Well, that's what Gary said. Yeah, well, I'm very excited because he's growing into a bruiser. He's like a normal-looking kid. Did you see the picture of Kate recently in a magazine? She had the one-arm Colin Mead baby hold. Mm. And I thought, like it, like it. She looked all glam, but she also had the baby Tucked on the under one arm. Yeah, and yeah. she was smoking a cigarette. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> and she had her teeth out, and she was wearing... She was wearing a crappy old dressing gown, Candlewick. And did she have a, a, a William Cody's? Yeah, and she had her hair in rollers with a uh, um, you know, chiffon scarf around. Oh, will you keep us updated on the royal team, the crew? It's what I've always wanted, wanted to be, a royal reporter, <laughs> now called a crew. <laughs> Let's do some headlines. Juliet's to... The two, twice the fun. Call 0800 80 10 80. News Talk ZB. This What's is the, the thing? thing. Have you got something else in your head? And, and look, we must I'm head so to a break. I'm so proud of but, you, Timmy. Uh, but I've heard on good authority that the All Blacks don't actually win many Halbergs. And it's a little bit like, say, uh, um, you know, accusations about Shane Torima, who was obviously very, very silly. I mean, it was staggeringly oh. silly what he did. But when there were national MPs saying, oh, yes, he was very biased uh, against us, um, that's the reaction that people tend to have. But if you go back and look at his interviews with people like Shearer, he was often actually incredibly hard on people from Labour. I thought he was very, um, I think, I agree with you, he was very stupid and arrogant um, uh, to use office, you know, time, location, oh, emails. Incredibly. But that's all been chewed over. But he started doing interviews on Q&A mm. and it was pretty good. Yeah. and, and Tough, so down the line. And I don't know whether it, it's going to make sense how I believe it relates, but sometimes if you feel that you have an affiliation for a certain side, you will actually try to rebut all those tendencies and go harder against that affiliation. And that seems to be the case with the All Blacks and the Halbergs. They don't win a lot of Halbergs because they're so popular and it's our biggest sport that people are so nervous. Is it a sport? Did I say sport? And it's our (laughs) biggest sport uh, that we tend to award them there than other sport. Because we don't want to seem to favour them. Um, Very much like the school teacher who has to have their own child in the class and they'll be much better on them. And they beat them. them. (laughs) I've been killed. All right, we'll be back no, they don't kill them. They just maim them. <laughs> but it's to prove a point. They're not going to be the teacher's pet. Yeah, Dead legs. I'm going to put you in a coma. <laughs> All right, 25 to 12.